Uh, Nicholas asked, where do you guys draw the line when covering topics that could be considered not quite legal? You guys have covered Plex, emulators, pie hole, and the like. Um, I mean, for us, I think that uh, our line is wherever the the community kind of kind of draws it. I mean, we've we've gone out of our way to make content. I think pie hole is probably the biggest example of something that is a uh, is a clear and obvious threat to our livelihoods, and yet we cover it anyway because we think the technology is really interesting. There, that's the line. If we think the technology is really interesting, we'll talk about it. Like this is not a this is not a you know an X rated you know R rated podcast or whatever whatever the adult rating for a podcast would be. But we regularly talk about uh, you know Pornhub for example if they're doing something that we think is interesting from a technological <clears throat> standpoint, or if regulators are going after them in a way that could have an impact on the tech industry more broadly. So I, I think for us we are the internet in general. How is Pi Hole a threat? Are you guys serious right now? <laughs> I mean, it is. They are. They are a user on Floatplane, so it's not there. You're, yeah. you're actually paying us for the content. Fair Thank enough. you very much. But yeah. um, a huge part of our revenue comes from advertising. Believe it or not, I know it's crazy, right? Like YouTube creators ad, get ad, ads, and that's how they make my ads. Hey, it's, be nice. What? Uh, I know. I I am being nice. <laughs> I'm I'm being I'm being nicely. Um, understanding that they might not have realized that ads are what supports creators online. I, okay. I, I was also confused by it. I, I just had no idea. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. I don't get it. 